Okay guys, it's the holiday season again. Uh, we're going to go into the garage for a little bit of holiday Christmas type uh, decorations and feel a Christmas. Um, these usually don't go over too well. I don't get too many viewers. So uh, I'll try to be short. We'll get this over with. So of course we got the Corvette parked in such a way that if we get a real nice day, it's heading outside. And then we have the Buick on the turntable. So we'll start with our little Looney Tune village. And Marvin the Martian. And we can't forget Sylvester. He's always good for the holiday. Sylvester and Tweety. And then on the turntable, besides the Buick, we got these light-up presents this year. Light-up ornaments. I'll tell you what, these presents and the ornaments are from a place called Lakeside. It's cheap, but they look good. Of course, in the fireplace area, I've always got to have a Christmas scene playing. It's just sitting there. There's no music or anything. And then the fireplace going, and then a couple more Looney Tune houses. I love Looney Tunes. And there's Taz. And then this year I've got three Christmas trees set up in this area. And of course I got another Taz guy there. Well, welcome back, guys. Uh, this is my, I think my third, or it might be my fourth uh, video that I've recorded around the holiday season, Christmas time. I always try one of these. Uh, they don't go over very well. I think the top viewership I had on one of these holiday videos was 35. Uh, it'd be great to break it this year, maybe get 40. Uh, we'll try. But anyhow, a couple of things I wanted to talk about. I've had a full year season-wise, summer season-wise driving of my Corvette. And I got to tell you, I never enjoyed a car more in my 72 years than this car. It, it rides beautifully. I'm surprised at the comfort of the seats. Um, it, it's got all the performance you could ever want. Especially for, you know, an older guy. Maybe it's not quite enough for the younger guys. And maybe you want a Z06 or something. But for this, this guy here, it's been wonderful. I, it, it's, it's phenomenal to look at. I, I'm fortunate to have a garage where I can come out and see it every day. Doesn't matter what the weather's like outside. I'll take it out if it's nice. But I'm just as happy looking at the car from the garage. I can sit, read a book, look up and see it. It never gets old. It always puts a smile on my face. <clears throat> I haven't had any issues with it, knock on wood. Uh, next uh, summer, early spring, actually early spring, I'll get the, uh, the oil change and the transmission filter changed. The thing I did um, so far this Christmas season is I made a Christmas card featuring this car and um, it turned out like this. I think you can see it. Um, it's pretty neat. Um, I, I found an image that showed this Santa Claus uh, holding the car down the chimney. It wasn't this car. It wasn't, I don't know what kind of a car it was. It was kind of cartoonish. So I had a picture of my car it was a profile picture, and but it was surrounded with trees at the concrete driveway. So I know I had to get rid of all of that stuff. 
So I used the um, uh, website Canva. I've used it for my thumbnails in the past. But this time I kind of stepped up the technicals a little bit and was able to remove uh, the uh, background using Canva and different things I could erase using Canva. I used it on a, this was sort of their pro version and I kind of used it on a trial basis. So I was able to uh, take that picture of my car, move all the background, all the noise, and then I was able to position it. Canva lets you rotate or turn in degrees. The car was able to set the right angle where Santa was holding it going down the chimney. I was able to erase the car that he had been holding. And I think it came out pretty nice. Um, so you could probably do the same thing. Get on the website Canva. It's pretty much free except if you want higher technical stuff like erasing things, background erasers. and um, But you can also come up with a card and it turned out pretty nice. I also added a Corvette book this year. Um, you might have seen it on eBay or some other place. I paid like $30 for it. This book is great. It shows the history of Corvette. It's got all eight generations. They touch on quantities, the production numbers, everything. The book is very comprehensive. It's really nice. I it's a really nice book. And uh, <laughs> this past week, my daughter told me that Ollie's, I don't know how many of you have an Ollie's, um, it's kind of like a, I don't know, a discount store or something. Supposedly, in their flyer, they had these books for like $15. So maybe you want to check that out. I don't know if it's for real, but that's what's advertised in their slinger for $15. It's, it's a really nice book. So I'm glad I got it. Two other things I'm going to touch on. I added something to the barn. It's another toy. It's not a car. And I'll show it to you in a second. But it's a pinball machine. I also like pinball. I've played pinball for decades. Ever since I was in college. Uh, I used to take my wife out on dates. And the place we used to go had pinball. And back then, I could beat the game. So, like, I could start with a quarter and have, like, an hour and a half of entertainment. And it was a cheap date. And she liked pinball, but I don't think as much as I did, but she kind of put up with it. And so, like, for myself, in the late 90s, I bought my first game. These games were all used. They were on route, so they had a lot of plays on them. It was really the only way to afford to get a game. And um, so between the late 90s and up to 2000, 2000 I think was the last game I bought. And it was a game called Circus Voltar. It was a uh, Bally Williams game. And that game I just recently sold a few months ago. Uh, I think I paid 2200 for it, and a few months ago, somebody wanted to buy it. I sold it to them for a good profit, and in return, I got basically a brand new game. It only had like a couple hundred plays on it. Brand new Stern, Guardians of the Galaxy. So I've got it in the garage. I just love it. I'll put, come in here, put around with the cars, detailing, whatever. I have the music playing. I could be reading a book. But then, if the mood strikes me, I get up and play a few games. I couldn't be happier. Go back, look at the cars. It's, it's great. So back here, behind the Buick, just tucked away in the corner here by the gas pump, I've got my pinball machine. Guardians of the Galaxy. I enjoy this. It's so nice to have one outside here in the garage. Well, the other ones that I have are down in the basement. It's fine for winter if I don't want to go outside, but I'm outside most of the time anyhow, and it's 
it's just nice to be able to have a game to play whenever I feel like it. So I could be reading a book, get into the mood of playing a game, I could be listening to music at the same time, and then in between games I can just turn and see the car, see the Christmas decorations. It doesn't get much better. So, another thing that I want to mention is I might be getting another car. Um, this summer I'm going to sell the Camaro. I have a 72 Camaro Z28 RS, black, white stripes, paint job's beautiful. It's got an M22 rock crusher, and um, I, it's time for me to sell it. I, I don't drive it much. I don't like uh, shifting anymore. My right knee, my left knee, too, hurts bad. And it's, uh, it's more difficult for me to shift now than it was. So I know it's time for it to go. The car I'm interested in is a uh, 2000 Corvette. It's torch red with a red and white interior. So for 2003, when the actual anniversary of the 53 Corvette came to be, um, GM really didn't do anything special for their own Corvette. I think they had a they had an anniversary package, which was a special paint, uh, a three stage anniversary red they called it, and some emblems. That was basically it. There wasn't any other real changes. So. Uh, a company just outside of Detroit was advertising that they were going to do something special with the Corvette. And lo and behold, they had a, make the story short here, a, uh, a process whereby they would convert your Corvette to look like a 53. The front and the back really close to a 53. Actually, the car looked pretty neat. I mean, I, there's something wrong with my brain, but sometimes with cars that I like and they're not popular or people don't like them. But this car really struck with me and I love the style of it. And um, this opportunity has come up with this particular car and I think I'm, I think I'm gonna take it. Um, anyhow, I wouldn't have the car until April, and that's when I would start doing content on that car, because it's uh, it's different. There was only like 212 made, so you don't see them every day. They don't come up for sale every day, <clears throat> and uh, I think that's uh, something I, I might actually do this year. So guys, I want to thank you for watching. I uh, hope you have a happy holiday and a good new year. And let's give it the old HEFO try and try to get over 35 views on this holiday video. Uh, yeah. Okay, thanks a lot. See you later.